the moment I accept them as Baba has given me, then you can see the magic working of Baba. Baba's magic starts working. And then we'll realize, I never thought about this. How it can oh, glorify me in the midst of everyone. How it can oh, change my complete personality and people's outlook towards me changes. And then I realize the value of following this discipline. It reminds me of a beautiful story that once there was a, a father and a son. And the father always used to say to the son, whenever he would come out of the room, did you close the fan? Did you switch off the lights? And the child would have just come out and then he would realize again, he would go back, put uh, switch off the light, switch off the fan. Whenever he would do something, have you closed this? It's not wasting. The water is not running. This every time he used to, you know, pinpoint him. And gradually the son was tired of the father. So he said, I'm going to take uh, my job in another city. I don't want to live with him. But suddenly, he had a call for interview from some of the company. And as he entered the gate, he saw that the water was running. So he, he, remind, he was reminded, my father said, close the water running. Why wasting money? So he closed that. Then he goes and he sees some thrash thrown on the pathway. So he is reminded again of his father. Father says, he got into that habit. So again, he picked up the thrash, put it in the you know, thrash box. Then again, he was going. He entered the building and he saw all the fans. So again, it reminded him of his father. Put off the fans. Why should the electricity be wasted? So he kept one fan on and he. And then he went inside and again in the washrooms, some water was running and some lights were there. So again, he put off the lights. And then he sat there. There were many people. Seeing all the people, he thought it is very difficult to get this job. But finally, the man comes out and says, well, everybody's interview is taken. You can all leave. Only this person can be seated here. And then he thought, nobody took my interview also. So the, the people said, well, the interview started when you entered the gate. The water was kept running purposefully. If you can save the resources of the company, when you feel it is my company, that is when you are going to save everything. You won't waste anything. So then he realized how this habit, which his father had always been bugging at him, Every moment, did you do this? Did you do this? Why did you put this here? Why did you put this? He felt it was bugging, but now he realized that habit only gave him the job. This is a small story. But then all those who were sitting for the interview, oh, we have, you should at least look at our CV. They said, we want people with values who feels the company is their own. They have this belongingness. If from the gate we were watching, we had CCTV everywhere. 
and we were watching you were not able to you know, do anything you everyone saw the trash on the uh, pathway nobody picked it up it was purposely to put there to see how clean you are able to keep your premises how much there is this belongingness so baba also says this disciplines they make you come closer to baba and it has a very deep significance you will not realize it now but when the results come after following it that is when you realize the significance baba is not going to tell us the significance it has to be realized and the more we are uh, firm on those disciplines that is brahmachari putting the footsteps in the footsteps of brahma baba sometimes i feel in madhuban when they keep on announcing you have to put your lights off you have, don't have to waste water you have to put that if you see somebody keeping the run the tap running please don't waste it close it every time why do we have to say when baba's children belong to that house belong to madhuban this belongingness has to be there that is brahmachari and then purity means double non violence that is also purity double non violence baba says that in geeta also it is mentioned lust is the greatest enemy kaam mahashatru hai it makes your sense organs not disciplined we are we sometimes on the basis of uh, the feelings of attraction or the feelings of getting closer to someone that is also a sort of impurity and baba makes us alert you should check your senses no senses should ever deceive you that is the greatest enemy and together with that anger anger is also violence violence through words when we hurt someone if i have this habit of hurting people that is not purity that is not purity we are not double non violent it is not just using the physical hand to hit someone or to do some violence no even through words even through thoughts as somebody mentioned good wishes and pure feelings after becoming baba's children i should not be huh, such that oh i have good wishes for some but not for some no we are the children of the unlimited we have to be in the unlimited and we have to have pure feelings and good wishes towards everyone towards every soul that is purity if i can have good wishes and pure feelings for some and not for some for some i'm biased i break point i do some back biting that is also impurity 
So when Baba says that complete purity means double non-violence, no violence through our thoughts, through our feelings, through our words. Why do we have to hurt anyone? Oh, he hurt me, that's why I showed him. He's not just clever, I'm also clever. If he can say something to me, why shouldn't I say to him? It's tit for tat. No, this is not the attitude of the Brahmins. Baba says, if somebody has done something wrong to you, then also have good wishes for that soul. It is just like a person going on the road and his car gets stuck in some mud and the wheel is rotating, is not moving forward and he needs help. Many people are passing by and seeing that he needs help. But there is one person who stops his car, gets out, helps him, just lifts it, and it has come out of that mud. The same thing with our sanskars. Some Brahmin sanskars from many births, they are very strong and they are stuck there. And they just need someone's help. And the help is at a very subtle level. They are stuck because their account of accumulation is not enough to get out of it. So if I give some pure uh, pure feelings and good wishes, when those vibrations are given, that is just lifting him and coming out. Coming out. That's the only help that is needed. That is why when Baba says, when you see some Brahmin stuck with their own sanskars, they are fighting inside. They also want to come out. They are constant, constantly fighting with those sanskars. They also know their weakness, but it is so good that they have not lost hope. They have not lost hope. They feel one day we will be victorious. They have this hope. So for such Brahmins, why can't we just give a little bit of cooperation of good wishes and pure feelings? And they may come out and they will start moving fast in their efforts. They also know their weakness, isn't it? When they hurt somebody, don't they get hurt themselves? Are they able to have yoga with Baba? No, it will come again and again. Knock the door again and again. So instead of seeing that, leaving them on their own, can't we give them the hand of cooperation? We are not donating to Brahmins. Baba says you are cooperating them. This word cooperation for Brahmins, you donate to the world, to the outside souls, the impure souls. You donate them good wishes. You donate them good vibrations. But for Brahmins, there is no donation. It is cooperation. You cooperate them. This is what Baba means. You have to cooperate. Each Brahmins. So that maybe 
the intellect that is stuck in some or the other weakness just comes out and they are able to move fast in their efforts and they will definitely thank you for that that cooperation so baba says double non violence is complete purity no violence through the thoughts words deeds uh, and relationships and connections let us be light in that with everyone whoever comes we are baba's children and the more i get into this habit the more i'll become double non violent because this is the first praise of the deities in golden age if it is the first praise then it has to be inculcated now the sanskaras have to be over a long period of time that is complete purity and purity means what baba's last words were nirakari nirahankari nirvikari hmm? being formless nirakari a huh? um, bodiless egoless and wiseless in the wise ego is included but still in the last words of baba the stage of perfection separates ego from the other vices just imagine that level we have to achieve and that is why every day murli in some way or the other talks about body consciousness and soul consciousness baba has separated it it is like a scale all the vices and body consciousness or ego consciousness they weigh the same because ego consciousness or body consciousness is the root roots of all the vices it's the roots of all the weaknesses so if it is the root just imagine how hard it must be how powerful it must be that other vices and ego both put in the scales way equally the equivalent so baba says be bodiless egoless and wiseless that is the ultimate purity ultimate purity that is perfection that is complete purity in my consciousness i have to be bodiless in my words i have to be egoless because the ego is seen there very accurately so the more humble i am the humility that we have it is only possible when i consider myself to be an instrument and that is why we find that mamma baba dadis they all consider them to be instruments they never had this feeling of i and my 
Many a times in Avyakta Murlis, whenever Baba is talking about something, and then he says the root cause of this lies in I, in this consciousness of I and mine. You have to renounce that. This body consciousness is the greatest impurity. And then being wiseless in our actions. So in the consciousness, in the words and in the deeds. Being bodiless in the consciousness. Considering the self as the soul. Visualizing the self as a soul. And in the words, egoless. Humble, humility. We have seen all the dadis. Even though if we have not seen Brahma, Baba and Mama. We have heard their stories when Mama always used to say that he is getting things done. Hukami hukam chalai raha hai. He is the one who is giving the directions and accordingly we are following the directions. We are just instruments. Dadi always said, whenever she had a beautiful thought, she would come to Madhuban Nivasis, have a family meeting, and then she would say, Dadi has this thought, what is your idea? She always used to separate herself from that consciousness of I. She never ever said, I have this thought. Dadi has this thought. Because dadi is an instrument whom Baba has appointed to look after the things. Once there was a problem in Madhuban and dadi did not know what to do. So it was Baba's season going on. So when Baba came, she asked Baba, Baba, there is this problem. That is going on. And Baba said, just don't think too much about it. You know you are an instrument. You do what you have to do. Unconditionally. And Baba will take care of whatever is there. Of the karmic accounts, Baba will take care. You just be that instrument unconditionally. And that made Dadi feel so light. And she constantly gave good wishes and pure feelings to all those souls who were becoming an obstacle for Yajna. Unconditionally. And Baba took care of them. Their karmic accounts. Definitely Baba is going to take care of that. As Dharamraj. So Baba always says, even if you don't fear the father, fear at least Dharamraj. Dharamraj is there. You should have that in the conscious attention, in the awareness, and wiseless in every action. No weakness should be seen. So that is the ultimate state of purity, complete purity, nirakari, nirahankari, nirvikari. With that efforts only Baba achieved that state of perfection. He gave us the clue that if you want to achieve perfection, this is the only way. So that is complete purity.
all these different forms of purity. 